and welcome back to Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai, with the fall of the Dragon Empire. Last time around we were able to take out the Kofu clan by taking their stronghold in Kai province. Almost immediately on doing that though, new hostilities open up at the very other end when Hatachi decided to attack us. We also have enemies of the Shogunate all the way up through the north here. Um, but not only that, the great Empire of China has declared war on us. We are uh, quite in predicament here because I have not been building. I've actually um, tried to decrease the garrison here to make just to make mo this a money province because I was under the impression that the Chi just like we can't declare war on China, uh, which I think is set to 49 turns. I thought that was the same for China. They couldn't declare war on us. Clearly that is wrong because we're only on turn... I'm not sure, actually. 17 or something like that, I think. Um, so, yeah. What I have gone ahead and done, though, is I'm trying to build it up. So we got one extra regular unit, and then I think it might be a sailor unit or a skirmish unit. A, a worse type of skirmish unit, I should say. And then... Um, back in our... There's a home province where uh, we're building the artillery, which will come out in one turn, and then I'm building extra troops right here. Now, since they're, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, work in between episodes to prepare it. That was the idea. But the thing is, because China's attack is imminent, that can happen any turn. So um, rather than sort of go ahead and play up in the meantime and so what I had in my, what I really wanted to do was some peace and quiet so I could po possibly use some money to spend on improving my provinces uh, as well as recovering the armies so that I had more money to spend on more troops and then go north I did not ha expect them to declare war on me and neither did I expect China but here we are so we'll uh, Hopefully everything goes well. In between episodes, I have uh, gone ahead and brought up the fleet here. Uh, we sunk the, f the Hitachi fleet and we bombarded and hit the traditional dojo, which is uh, on fire. The smaller ship is locked in place up here. Not sure what we'll do there, but uh, what I'm expecting now is uh, the Chinese to attack. We'll go ahead and enter and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully though, will be able to... Uh, the goal for this episode is to claim Hitachi in this episode. Uh, trying to claim one province per turn, so we always have that as uh, sort of a goal. But it could be that we're stuck in a very nasty siege over in China. Enough talking about what could happen. Let's go ahead and see what will happen, shall we? I didn't have to wait long for China to respond. I did not have time to recruit any extra troops for the garrison. We have 4,000 men, where only a th roughly 1,000 is regular troops. The rest of it is militia and stuff, and even spearmen. While the Chinese have brought an army of 8,000, followed up by an army of another 8,000. So we're looking at close to 16,000 troops coming at us. Which, a lot of these seems to be melee units, which could play him in favor, and the fact that they don't have a proper general. The thing is though, even if I'm able to win this, like how quickly will they be able to rally a new force like this? And will this, instead of being a money province, just become a money pit? With that said though, let's go ahead and see if we can't figure out a way to hold out against this massive Chinese onslaught. And we're off. I think I'm going to show this siege in bits and pieces because it's such a huge siege. I've put my mortars in the back to be al allowing them to bombard the enemy for as long as possible. So we've got a mighty horde of Chinese troops over here. And then we've got a similar mighty horde coming on here. Uh, what I've gone ahead and done is these forts are made like layers, so we want to take full advantage of that. We're just starting to bombard here. Took out almost 20 men with uh, those bombs, so that's okay. Uh, the 
Levy infantry is the worst accuracy and also the worst morale. I've put them first. Because I'm expecting the guys on the wall. The enemy's gonna close in them with the wall pretty quickly. So I think those guys are gonna lose pretty handily. And then it for the second one is where I've got the militia. The militia is gonna take advantage of the fact that we've got the regular troops up back here. So we'll be the enemy will sort of come on one by one climbing up here. And they'll be shot by both. And hopefully that will create such a devastating amount of fire on uh, the first troops they get in here. That uh, it will break them. And uh, in that way I'll break the Chinese armies. This is good news. I can see this bow infantry is wavering. Um, and it's only lost 20 troops. Which... I think that's going to be the downfall of the Chinese army here. They don't have a general to inspire them for uh, what they're about to do. I think the enemy has... They're close to about um, getting below the mortar fire. I think, though, the mortar fire is targeting the wrong troops here. I think targeting this area right here is the key because there's a lot of them right we can see one there is uh, also losing cohesion I wish I had a general though because right now this militia is already wavering and I think we hit it with our own bloody mortar shot oh okay they are broken the Chinese troops are shaken I don't know how many troops they've lost as of yet. Um, not too many actually. And now they're coming on. But here is where I'm hoping that uh, we'll achieve the most amount of damage. So that's happening over there. The enemy here is slowly coming on. We're bombarding. We'll keep bombarding this area. Do we have at least one of these bastards breaking? The enemy have claimed the tower, sir. That's not good. I might lose this before... Uh, you know what? I think we have a shattered... Tons of units are shattered on this side. I think we'll switch the mortar fire if we can. I think we're going to try and not bomb this area anymore. And see if I can turn it here. Because here is also where the uh, reinforcement army is coming. So I want it to turn towards kind of the bridge. And then I'm going to tell them to hold fire and then pick targets as well. Because then I don't have to pay attention and then bombard the enemies to come up there. Right, so it looks like... I was actually successful here is great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reclaim that tower and I'm actually going to get the general unit to come out and stand on this wall and shoot everyone as they run past and then this unit will be organized over here. Okay, we're, I think we're in that trouble where it's sort of at a certain point there's so many troops inside the castle or something that they kind of get stuck look at all the <laughs> look at all the troops right so we have already sh we've shattered a full force of the chinese with 8000 men the thing is though or actually only half of it that's 4000 men there's another 4000 here and then we got 8000 coming down here which I'm hopefully bombarding. I'm hoping we can do a lot of damage there. Okay, the Chinese are coming on here. Here's a little bit of a worse area. Because I don't have the direct like aim towards all of these. Um, but I'm hoping we'll be able to achieve something similar here. Alright, the general unit. 
I want them to gain experience. I think most units have a lot of ammo, so I don't think there's a risk of us running out of ammo. I do want to kill as many of these uh, guys as possible. And I want to... This unit is shattered, that's great. I think we're preset for the first wave. Now it's just waiting for the second then to come in. The second army is now attacking the fort. And as you see, they're coming in pretty darn strong. I'm gonna order these guys to do kneel fire. I am continuously bombarding this with mortar fire as much as I can. Uh, the enemy has broken in on this side here. I've called up the armed citizenry with spear to fight them. As uh, this line infantry unit has lost a lot of its troops on the front wall there. We still have this militia unit, which is set up right here. I Maybe that was a bad idea to actually give them that order because they're no longer firing. If I tell you... The thing is, usually... I order them to do this because I want them to fire, because uh, they have otherwise a tendency the the tower, to uh, kind of, um, you know, wiggle about and do stupid shit. When they stand still, they kind of have no choice but to fire straight forward. Okay, uh, this unit right here is down to 60 men, I didn't realize that. I need to pull them back. The militia here is doing fine because they're funneled into here. Unfortunately, the enemy has claimed a part of here. I'm getting the general unit back in. And we're going to see about locking that one in place. These guys will stay here on the wall just because they'll aid whatever comes from this comes at this militia unit. Um, there's a lot of Chinese troops retreating, but there's still, like, a lot of them coming inside here. Alright. Do you do kneel rank? And I'm hoping that actually gets them to fire. There is some kind of bug that happens in sieges where I think there's, when there's too many people. And they just have a hard time mo moving into position. You know what, there's not that many Chinese troops left. Well, it's kind of hard to tell because I don't know who's retreating and who's not. But I think we have a pretty good chance. If this unit can hold and actually break these yellow banners, which they're only going to be able to do if they get your aid. So if you can get up onto the wall and shoot those guys down that would be great and then I think you probably have to retreat because now you're not actually doing anything and you should do kneel fire and then if I can withdraw the spearmen to open up for this unit to fire half the unit still on the wall for some reason Problem is if they take the flag, it's going to be hard to dislodge them. Right, you saw how I ordered him to take the wall, and first now he does it, but I think that's going to work. I need to open up space here for uh, the unit to actually be able to fire at the uh, fire down range here, which they're not. I'm going to order up this second unit, maybe. Just I need something closer to the flag. I think. The matchlocks, there we... You know what? I can have them here. Next to the house. Cover the, de uh, the blind spot of this unit. Right, he's been shooting down at these, and they're now wavering, but so is the militia. The mortars continue to bombard here. It might be better to order the mortars to attack melee. Oh, they've shattered. They've shattered. 
They've all shattered, in fact. We won. We won the battle. But it was very much touch and go. And I think a large part is because they didn't bring a general. If they bring a general, then that gives enough of a morale boost that the Chinese will completely overrun the fort. I'm wondering what the casualty rate will be for this battle. On my side, but mostly for the enemy. It's gonna be horrendous. A horrendous slaughter. Here's the result of the battle of our 4,000 men deployed, roughly. We lost 2,300, leaving 1,500 to continue the defense of the fort. The enemy deployed 15,000 while leaving 6,000 on the field. I was hoping that we killed more. Um, it's a heroic victory. I thought we were going to kill... Like, actually, I thought we were going to kill double the amount of troops. Um, because in a lot of the field battles, we have ended up killing a lot of the enemy retreating troops. But I guess in this case, no. Um, that's a lot of people still. 6,000. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them are still there. High chevrons gained by the troops. The general unit lost 14 men, killed almost 1,200. It's going to be down to being able to replace these guys. Because those are, as we can see, those are the heavy hitters. Except one militia unit that was placed really well at the back. Um, the other units, not so much. Levy infantry, really poor. Uh, one militia got overrun really quickly as well. Right. It holds on for now. If there's a second battle, there's no way in this state right now that we'll be able to defend the area. 
before we are able to recover the Chinese attack again with another army of 7,500 men. I have 3,000 men to defend. And what it looks like is they've got a lot more bow infantry this time around. Which is not going to pay out, go out well for us, is it? We're on the final moments of the second battle. It is really narrow this time around. The bowmen have definitely done a lot of damage to us. Um, it's touch and go. The enemy is in control of the center. All my units inside are occupied with fighting those guys. And... Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to win this. The gatehouse is still mine, right? Yes. Let's send everyone in. I've got reinforcements on the way inside. But as long as they hold control of the center, I can't hope to win. It looks like they just broke. Everyone just broke. Holy sh... Another victory. Here is what I'm going to do different this time around. I'm going to continue the battle. I'm not going to directly uh, end it because I think we'll actually be able to achieve more casualties on the enemy. Um, but yeah, I don't think we will be able to hold out against the Chinese for too long. And doing these battles every turn if the Chinese keep attacking, it's better to give up the territory and then try and come back at China later on. As a result of the second battle, we deployed 3,000 men. We lost about half, so we have 1,600 men left. The Chinese deployed 7,500 and lost 6,600, leaving only about 1,000 men left after the battle. So I was able to achieve more casualties to the enemy in this army. However, I also lost one of my infantry units. Currently, only two infantry units remain, uh, which is not that great. And it's low number as well, something that will is slow replenishment. So that will count. I'll, I'll have to merge that into a single regiment. Not looking good. Levy infantry killed almost 3,000. The reason why the levy infantry en ended up killing 3,000 was I was able to break one of the sides of the enemy army early on and they started bunching up along the wall and next to the river I actually sent the levy unit out to stand guard at the river and just slaughter all of them so that's why we see a much higher percentage of the enemy army slaughtered the Chinese have been bested twice if they come out of me a third time we're doomed is it just like this, this entire episode, where I'm heavily outgunned? It looks bad. Because they have a lot more ships than I do. 
The thing is, we have modern cannons, and I research explosive shells. If I stay at range, I could probably sink the entire fleet. It's only the Red Seal ship that might be able to uh, do some damage to me. Well, would you look at that? I managed to take out the entire enemy fleet while only losing, I think, five men. Not even that, we deployed, we lost three men in the fight. And I was able to wiggle my way around and destroy the entire fleet. Explosive shots, plus the fact that I was using the, um, it's an exploit, where you allow whatever side of the cannon to fire first. Then immediately you go into uh, where you can aim your guns yourself and then basically you get two shots fired at the same time, more or less. So you double the amount of shots you're able to lay down. In this case though, since they were barely firing back at any point, um, you know, it only made it so the conclusion went faster, I think, than uh, anything more than that. But yeah, the fleet was uh, captured and destroyed. Sabotage attempt by an enemy army. Enemy assassin detected. Great fire, my lord. A great fire has erupted in the capital of this province. Ha! Huh. Okay. There's a great fire that is destroyed. Wait, what does great fire actually do? Great fire! 50 plus construction in this wealth generated and happiness. Uh, luckily for Kai though, I'm not planning on building anything here. But everything became 50% more expensive. Problem with the unhappiness though, means that I won't be able to have my troops leave the area for quite a while. I don't know how many troops I need to leave to hold this area down. Currently we're not making a lot of money. So I don't want to exempt the area from tax. An additional two units. An additional one. Which one is this? This is two chevrons. This is three. Right. Then this guy is actually three. He should go back and then we put a two in there. Oh, now I don't need uh, the two. Right. It's barely holding on. And I can get this army on the road as well. Wonderful. The thing is, though, we have discovered an enemy force. Actually built up right here. Good thing the geisha is gone. Because then I can move the artillery here right away. And... You have a 53% chance of getting rid of him, and you have a 55. It's not that big of a difference, but you are a lot better, supposedly, at capturing these guys. The thing is, though, what, this one 1100, and you 1200. Alright, then I need money, so. Okay, you failed. That's not great. The thing is, he's only really 
causing a nuisance. He's not really doing a lot of damage. I want to see what the road's like up here. We're going to bombard this another time. What I'm going to do here is... Ah, upkeep cost. Look at the upkeep cost. That's why I'm not making that much money. All these ships that I captured were causing trouble for me. Eh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I know. It's, um, it's like a peace symbol, but <laughs> it's... <laughs> I was a bit stunned by that. Um, right, we're gonna go ahead and we bombarded this. We keep bombarding this. That's quite a big force. Do I have anyone to actually reach? No, I don't. But we have these two smaller forces, which is gonna be important to keep together. And then. Let's just call, yeah, it's, it's his army. It's, it's his army with Heos 6th Brigade. Moving forward. We have one unit here. The province is pretty happy. I could probably bring this guy. Yep. Bring the guy to the front. This is also pretty happy. Just barely holding on. But he can be moved here. So now we've boosted this area. Now the question comes about Guangdong. My big Dong city. I've been able to recruit extra troops, but those are um, sailors, perhaps. I wonder if I should expend more effort of trying to defend this. Or if it's a waste of time. To try and defend this. The thing is, we get... The same amount of the accuracy is a lot worse on those. We'll try to save the province because um, we get the uh, silk from here. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to procure silk. Um, right. The thing is, I don't know how much time I've done on the sieges and then and then naval battle and now. Possibly another battle. Also, I desperately need to set up more trade. And I can't, for the love of me, understand why Kanasawa doesn't want to trade with me. My good friend. Why, oh why, you guys are friendly with me. So I don't see why we shouldn't be able to trade and make Profit. Um, end turn once more and then we'll see if we can come to battle with these guys. Is it going to be the third siege of this video or what is going on here? Looks like I won't be able to capture Hitachi though this province or this turn. Um, but I think if I am able to defeat this army it doesn't do that much if you miss the siege. But... Right, with that said, let's go ahead and end turn war once more and hope that the Chinese have had enough since I've killed like 10,000 of them at least. So let's hope they do not attack and I'm able to claim Hitachi. It's yet another siege. This one though, I think is clearly in the bag. I've got tons of regular infantry, plus we got a new howitzer. Let's test this out on these barbarous fools. It's a very foggy day. Foggy enough for me to spring a trap on the enemy. I defeated the first force over here and now I have deployed two units out of the castle and has now set up behind the enemy. So they're stuck down here in the valley getting bombarded from my mortars, fired up from the palisade down upon the troops and then with the troops that I brought out of the castle Victory we're now sword, shooting sir. them down. Thing is though we're receiving heavy fire from the enemy. I'm gonna order them to kneel fire 
The enemy general is right behind us. Look at that. Suddenly they all start to shoot. And as soon as they do, the enemy is broken. And I am victorious. The enemy general lingers on the battlefield. Which is only going to cost him his men. I'm going to move up and kill them. As we've seen, sieges are not too reliable on relying on the AI to make sure that a sufficient amount of enemies are killed. But, yeah. Sieges in Shogun are really hard for anyone, really, both AI and human, to pull off. And clearly, the enemy had no great plan for this siege. Here's the result of it, and we slaughtered half of their force while only losing about 300 men. Wonderful victory. Turns out who killed what, it goes down to single unit. Kills most of them, as per usual. Uh, my howitzer did able, was able to fire. There wasn't much room in the castle to set it up. He did manage to fire a th single shot, I think. That actually came out of the fort and hit them. Killed 40 men. But yeah, there's that siege. Army sabotage. Enemy raid at Guangdong. And enemy assassin detected. That's not great. They uh, ambushed or sabotaged the army here, which means I can't move out the gun. However, Hatachi's army is still here, which means the road to their capital is open. Which seems like I'm gonna have to move through here, this way. Which means that I should reasonably be able to take out their army and then claim their uh, city. We should actually sabotage them in turn to make sure they're not able to reach the town. Actually, even with the troops they have, I don't think they are going to make it back. Let's see. Or ma maybe for safety. It is expensive though. I could use that money to bolster my economy, which is desperately needed. As we're fighting all over the place. Um, Guangdong has seen upgrade of troops. However, as we've seen, not all of these are regular troops. And currently the province is also on fire where the... Uh, oh, that's going to be expensive repairing that. Huh. Um, I'm still making some money from it. Currently we're making 1,600 from it, however, each troop cost uh, about 90 for regular troops. Which are, I've got 5 now. And then 60 for whatever this is, if this is the sailors. Means that I'm still making money, but in the 90 times 5 we're close to 500 plus this one is yeah it's 500 basically so that's a third of what we make from this province um, we're still gaining some growth but not a lot how much am I willing to spend on this 
To make sure it holds, another two units will m definitely make sure that I think I can hold it. Given that we have, uh, they haven't come with a second attack. And then for the rest of the money, should probably save that up and build the economy here. Make sure that if I um, am to capture more enemy ships, then I sink them right away. I don't know why I went this way around, because clearly according to this map, no ally is found along this route. However, as we come down beyond Kagagawa, we should encounter allies. Um, actually, I shouldn't go into that bay. I should go around it, because there's all allies. The, the other ones come down here. We'll meet the Americans as well, see if they're still alive. I think they are. Right. Um, we've done so much sieges and stuff. I did defeat this army. They... We'll see what I'll do in between episodes. I'll definitely be doing a lot of sieges back in Guangdong. And perhaps we'll start the next episode afresh. Where we've beaten this army. And uh, ready to take Hitachi. But I think... We've played long enough today for it to be one episode, so in the meantime, what might happen in meantime is I might lose Guangdong. Hopefully I'm able to defend it. I'll probably defeat this army in the field and then siege Hitachi. And I'll save up money to try and build up my province and get Kanazawa. Kanazawa. To actually set up a trade deal with me. The bastards. It's a land trade deal as well. So it won't be um, attacked by pirates or anything. So I'll be able to actually make some money out from that. Which would be good. But with that said. I think it's high time to actually end this episode. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.